Let's hear a good day I'm just forming now these cars and planes. I'm always boarding. Point two, what we're doing, we're training Don't start wheel nuts with rattle guns. We're gonna put two big fat blokes like us in the back. You're probably gonna need airbags. Finish friends on my face. Looking like a front of D. Ha! Didn't see these guys there. G'day, welcome back to another episode. Today we are fitting airbag man. Airbags to the big GU. Now it's a part of the uh, GU's midlife birthday crisis. So probably hear me midlife. talking. Yeah, we're having a midlife on the GU. Yeah. She's 23 years old, so it's time to uh, give her a little bit of a birthday. Here's a little a bit patrol, of a so tickle. Yeah, Here's little a patrol, so patrol things. Should be swinging spanners. So you've heard me in recent episodes say that I'm dealing with GVM and issues and things like that. There is something on the way. You'll see that. I'm going to keep it a secret because I'm going to be one of those YouTubers. <laughs> This is a part of the secret, so thanks to our uh, airbag man, they've actually sent me this kit here. So they are sponsoring today's video, the Bloody Legends. So how good are they? These are the high pressure airbags, so they've got the Kevlar bags, handle up 60 PSI. Yep. Mine is the uh, remote wireless kit, which flash, I, Murray. it is flash now. We're only going to install the airbags today. I've installed all the uh, compressor, so they give you a little compressor, 150 PSI, 5 litre air tank. I'll show you that. But um, it's not really relevant to you guys. It was a full custom install that took me two or three days. Unless you got a GE Patrol and want to put them behind the drawers, it's not relevant to anyone. Nah. But what is relevant is airbags. Airbags. So, same ones I got in mine. Yep. Creep has got them. So They're good. They are good. Good for towing. Good mint, for leveling out your vans. Meant for the camper. I'll so. show you this. Hey, hold that. If you own a GU, you'll know that the rear strut braces didn't even know this was a thing. Go wing, and the spring goes. <laughs> I don't want that on mine, so I bought the Boss strut brace kit. So we're going to be installing that today because it makes sense. So little spring isolator that bolts up. It's all bolt, plug and play. Yeah, that's the only plug they're getting. Yeah, <laughs> patrol part. I don't know if you've used patrol part. I have to because I got a patrol, but they suck. But anyway. <laughs> They finally rocked up, so we're going to do the install. It's about to rain. We picked the best day in Perth day. to do this. Good day. But we're going to get it done, so stay tuned. Let's Save get these good bags days in. camping. Yeah, good days camping, bad days on the Working tools. On the tools. Yep. Stay tuned. You. You. So as we were saying, these airbags are the high pressure models, and they come with these Kevlar bags. They're Kevlar A Creever. Yeah. And um, they can be a little bit funny to get on. Yeah. That's get why we, we did one before we did started doing but as you can see you just got to um just work it massage and work it and uh yeah get it in but we got the big gu up here on um axle stand so everything's nice and safe it's on the chassis so you get max suspension drop so as you can see the spring is uh sort of flexed out it's pretty loose we've just got to drop these shockies so, as you can see, new shockies from West Coast Suspension. The boys over there hooked the brother up, so thank you, legends. See the airlines hanging down for the bag, so we're almost ready to go. So, we'll drop the shocky. We might drop the sway bar link. Just get a little bit more flex out of it, and we're going to pry this spring out, take off the bump stop, install the strut braces, airbag in the spring, plug it in. Bob's your uncle? Maybe he is. So, stay tuned. Spanner. Spanner. Rattle gun. A light. It's not a 14 either, but 14 will work. It's my first time. She's off. It's my first day. So that's the uh, bottom sway bar link. Just, we'll give her a tap. Yeah. With a spanner. <laughs> Big spanner. Oh, maybe jack that dip up a little, just a tad. Little jacky? Oh no, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Just a bit of brute strength, mate. Sway bar yeah. off. Should be able to lower it now, and that spring should just go, I want to come out now. Ting! Should do what you're scared it was gonna do. Maybe you'll get You get a spring. You get a spring, you get a spring. So, Creeps is just uh, deflating the bag. You need about uh, 83 kilos to do that. I'll take it. I'll take the 83. <laughs> and it's just going to hopefully slide in there. 
I can be a bit of a dog. They all work themselves out. Uh, uh. Now, I thought we might mention that your airbag is never gonna sit on the bottom or on the top. Nah, there'll be a bit of space in between. There is space between the bottom of the airbag and the top of the airbag. The design of the airbag is to inflate inside these coils and that's where you're getting your height from. And obviously, compression from the car itself, so these are gonna squash down a fair bit. Yep. So, right. try to just make it nice and even. Which they are. Which they are. You probably pull that Kevlar up a little bit more, just give it a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit protection. of protection. It's a fine art. So we're gonna get the bump stops off now and get the strut top braces in. And then we can put the spring back in with the bag, plumb it up. Bob's your uncle again, Fanny's your aunt, and the GU will be on bags. One bump stop. We're gonna get the welder out, welder man. Okay, so midway point, we've got one strut top brace in. These are the instructions from our boss. And um, just, what do you reckon about those, Kreber? Yeah, that's how good they are. 45 minutes aside, my ass. Um, we struggled like F to get those in, but um, we've got one in. We're gonna do the other side, then we'll bring these back when we put the bags in and plumb them up. Um, but it's pretty much plug and play, but. There's no, no left and right markings either. Yeah, they reckon there's driver's side, passenger side markings. Just there's wing not. it. Just wing it. I mean, the construction of the brace is awesome. Yeah, super, it is. Super good. strong. Super, the super brace strong. Is killer. Can't even bend it to try to get it in the <laughs> right holes. <laughs> well, we're struggling lining stuff up. I mean, the GU's probably a little bit bent, being 23 years old. Yeah. But, um, yeah, nice. Right. No, it'll be right. But we'll get the other side in off camera and um, we'll bring you back when we're putting the springs with the bags and the plumbing and the. First one's always the hardest. <sighs> We've got a uh, procedure now, which is struggle. And Fingers uh, like that. You gotta move your tongue a certain way, and that's, uh, that's why they say, why are mechanics so good? Gotta get in them tight spots. Yeah, 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 my wife says that every night. We'll keep going. Okay, so while Creep is hard at work on the other side, I thought I'd show you this, so Airbag Man, the bloody legends, obviously hooked me up. But um, they've gone real super, super green, so all their packages are biodegradable, and um, doesn't come with any instructions, but does come with these cool QR codes. So you scan the QR code, it gives you a little video of the install, um, a video of it in use. It also gives you a real detailed um, instruction manual that you can download with PDF. I've been using it on my phone whilst doing the install. So it's been super, super handy. So yeah, when you buy their products, you see the QR code, don't throw away the box, scan the QR code, put in the product that you've actually got and it gives you the instructions. So we'll keep going on the uh, other side, get the strut top brace in, and um, yeah, get these bags in, pump them up, and hopefully have a good time. Whoop, there goes the spring. Got one. Another spring's out, so we're getting further and further along, so let's keep going. <laughs> so I've got these flush, flash cutters. So they're TGM ones, they're specially designed for airline because when you cut airline with anything else than these, sometimes the pipe can crush in and you won't actually be able to get a good seal on it. 90% of the leaks come from them. So for 10 bucks, you buy the proper cutter. That's a TGM one. Shout out to my boy, Jeff, who got me that. My name is Jeff. And it's that simple. Cuts it square, flat, no leaks. Happy Ethan, happy Kreber. Because that's what we want. Obviously it plugs into there. So that's the top of the bag where we're gonna plug the airline. We're just getting all the plumbing situated. Your dog's going off its head, as you can hear in the background, because she's that excited for airbags. It's ready to go camping. <laughs> we're gonna get these in. That's that top, uh, like, uh, airline isolator. So that's obviously gonna sit there once it's all good. And the airbag line comes through, so there's no rubby rubbies. Doesn't rub on any metal. It's all uh, shaped nicely there. So we'll get it all in. We'll suss out the lengths, because the length is the main bit. Mm. Got to have enough for flex, which I don't really have. Even though me brand new steady lights I've flexed on. Devo. Devo. Get some acetone. 
get some acetone <laughs> from them guys. Get some acetone from acetone and see if they can't fix that up. Yeah, 100%. So we'll get these in and uh, we'll get some uh, pump on. Okay, we're at the midway point. Mrs. B's been out getting pizzas. Have a look at those big dogs from Costco. So, that's a big that, pizza. That's a large Domino's. That's a whole Domino's pizza there. We're gonna hook into these. We'll get the wheels back on, put some air in the airbags. See what problems we have. Go from there. If any, and we're done. And yeah. Don't know if anyone else has these ants. But they absolutely rip you dead. They rip you, eh, bro? Yeah, they They're so shit. They hurt. So we're getting the wheels on now. We jacked her up. I need new tyres. If anyone wants to sponsor a set of tyres, yeah. hook us up. Because they are as lumpy as my big owl. Come We on. We on. Boom chakalaka. These nuts. These nuts. Don't do what we're doing. We're trained professionals. Don't start wheel nuts with rattle guns. You should never do that, ever. Never do that. I don't know if we'll pick it up, but put a little bit of anti seize, a little bit of copper coat. A little bit of love on it. Yeah, a little bit of jizz. You should always start these by finger. Never with the rattle gun. <laughs> never. What is it? Don't do as you say. Don't do as you do. Don't do as you say. Do as I say. Nah, don't. There's a, there's a don't saying. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. You know the saying. Put it in the comments below. So you'll see. You do your wheel nuts in a star pattern. Some people don't know. You want that rim to seat nicely. We're well aware that's not an impact. Uh, And in Milwaukee, we trust. What are we trusting? Now, wheel nuts have torque settings. I will be uh, cranking those up. These patrol wheels are um, pretty renowned for coming loose. Yeah, we'll tighten them so, up to um, about four ugger duggers. Yeah. Don't uh, trust the old Milwaukee rattle guns, even though they're good. Put a uh, socket on them, an extension. In my case, I'm going to torque them. 120 newton meters are uh, what the uh, Nissan factory recommend. And uh, they know more than me. Someone got paid way more than me. Obviously not, because we just had to rebuild There's that copper coat on the uh, studs there. Just uh, for full drives, you just want to make your life easier. You, you say they obviously know what they're doing, but we just had to rebuild their shock towers. Yeah, true, true, yeah. Thanks, Nissan. Thanks, Thanks Nissan for your uh, shitty shock shock strut top towers that you made. But um everything's in now. So we'll get it on the ground and I'll show you guys uh show you guys how the system works. It's all remote control, so it's pretty flash. Obviously I said I had a compressor and an air tank, so that gives me the luxury now of having uh onboard air. So it does come with a real nice gauge and a hose, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, yeah, it's quite a uh, extensive piece of kit. It is quite expensive. Um, but yeah, if you're looking at doing it, looking for the ease of uh, having a remote control and a gauge on your dash, yeah, it's not a bad idea. So anyway, we'll get these wheels on, get it on the ground and uh, put some air in these bags. Okay, so we're in the big GU and this is that uh, flash little gauge, comes in a nice little package, a nice little tie gauge with the setup, nice little air hose. So that's for the uh, back, for the uh, onboard air. Um, that's a little flash remote, so it flips up. You can um, pump up, pump down, do all that sort of jazz. This is the setup, so it's got air tanks, and yeah, you've got the big tank here, you've got a valve body, you've got an ECU. We've got the compressor mounted up here on the drawers, so that's 150 psi. Little dog, make me barbecue plate, but that's where she sits. 
But as you can see, there's a lot of work that's gone into that. So that's why I didn't film it because it's it's really not relevant unless you're buying this kit and you have a GU, you want to put it behind the seats, but that's it. Up front, I'll show you, there's a nice flush gauge and my gauge uh, pinnacle. Is that what they're called, Kramer? Pinnacle, binnacles? That's what we'll go with. Yeah, that's what they're called. So I'll show you that, but we'll try to get some air into the airbag, see if we have uh, plugged it all in right, which I assume, see if my wiring skills are as good as I bloody think they are. But yeah, that's the setup. You're looking to get one. Quite a, uh, quite a bit of stuff in there, so. Let's get some air in the dogs. Yo. Okay, we had some issues. <laughs> we had some teething problems. Okay, start again. Okay, so we had a couple of issues. Um, I didn't calibrate the remote correctly and we were chasing wiring faults that didn't exist. All we had to do is calibrate the remote. So I rang up uh, the legends at Airbag Man and their custom service is bang on and they said, dickhead, program the remote properly. So did that and Creep's gonna give us a demo, mate. So we All got right. up and down on each side. Yeah, it's got a left and right. So left, right, good night. If you wanna do one side at a time, you can do. Yeah. So. So at you can, the moment. You can sort of level the van up. Yeah. So if you're sitting there at camp or something, or you yeah. got a rooftop tent on there. Rooftop tent, caravan. And you're sitting at camp and you need to level it up a bit, you can just use your bags. So at the moment, you just give it a double click, or actually a triple click, I think. Maybe a quadruple click. There we go. Close enough. Sort of. Sort of. Same, same. Get in there. So I don't know if I've shown these guys, but they've, they've sent me over this real flash gauge. So there you go, 34, 35. And um, yeah, you can um, adjust it that way. So you got up and down on your bags. So we want to adjust them. You can go down on them. Releases some air. And that's how easy it is. Good bit of kit. It is a good bit of kit. Especially with, for my car, like with my car anyway, I know I've got to let mine down and back up when I've got the van on. Just because my jockey wheel's not long enough. So, yeah, it's good. When you're pumping it up manually, yeah. it sounds first world problems. First world problems, how dare you? Yeah, how, how dare you? But, but anyway. That is cool, eh? That is a cool bit of kit. We'll show you a few more um, of it going up and down, and we'll wrap it up. But yeah, that's her there. Give us some downage, Creeps. Oh, low rider. So legends, that's it. Airbags are in. Done. Pretty flash little kit, the remote, up downs. Not too bad to install. Not too bad. I mean we did we cut out uh, most of the installation with the tank and wiring and yeah. all that. Yeah. That was a bit of a headache. But um if you've got a little bit of mechanical nous yeah, like us. A little bit of knowledge or yeah, piece of piss. The instructions are pretty good when you read them. I didn't read them to pair the remote. We thought we had an issue, but who, we didn't. Who reads the instructions? Nah, not the boss ones anyway. Nah. God bless. Through them. So we've done the uh, airbag install, the high pressures. We've done the uh, strut top bracing. What's next, big fella? Oh. <laughs> next, we've got ourselves a turbo. So we're going to give this patrol a big kick up the ass of the big turbo. So that is coming. I've actually got the turbo in the garage. Um, it's something special. I think. Thirsty boys. Yeah, she's about to get um, a whole lot of whole lot of boogie. So that is next. Race. Yeah. When I get mine back on the road as well. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I will do a rig rundown. Um, potentially the patrol in the next few weeks is going to be lithium. Um, I'll do a rig rundown because I've changed all the 12 volt. There's new lights, there's heaps of shit going on. Coming out, coming off, going in. But yeah, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you're looking to do airbags, you're looking to get a van, a camper trailer. Yeah. Whatever. If you're looking to put two big fat blokes like us in the back, you're probably going to need airbags. You're going to need more than airbags. So. Might need a trailer. Yeah, probably. Like, subscribe, do all that shit. If you want a shirt, get a shirt, get a patch. If not, God bless. See you on the next one. You! Been chilling there, I see. Just been in there, looking up.
Hi, my name's Nathan. I know you've watched nothing for the last 11 minutes. Um, this is E-Dog on the ground. Hey, E-Dog. Just trying to get some shots, you know? Just getting it, just getting it. Dog to film. Absolute dog to film. Just getting it. So hopefully everyone appreciates this. Gets the views, blows us up. Thumbs up. Like, subscribe, subscribe, like, go get the merch, help brother out.